Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to change your resolution and screen size. All right, believe it or not, screen size and resolution are not technically the same thing, although changing your resolution will change your screen size. There's actually another way to change your screen size. If you run into a problem where you're like outputting to a TV and you set it to say 4K resolution, everything still seems kind of absurdly big. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on a blank area of the desktop here. We're going to go ahead and click show more options. That'll bring up the older style uh, settings display here. Then we're going to go ahead and click on display settings. And we're going to scroll down to the first thing I want to show you, which is display resolution. Right now I'm set at 1280 by 720, which is technically 720p high definition resolution. What we're going to do, although I kind of want to make that smaller, doesn't look like it's going to do it though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise this to 1080p resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. So let's give that just a second. All right, we're going to keep that setting. And let me see if I can switch this back and forth. I want to show you that as we increase the resolution, you will find that these items, like this is how everything looks beforehand, and then we'll up it to 1080p, you'll find that everything gets smaller. That is because we're putting more dots per inch in there, which is higher resolution. It's uh, more little pixels being displayed at a time, and uh, everything gets smaller. I'm going to take this further because this actually supports full 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then as you can see, it makes everything absurdly small on this screen, which this is the kind of resolution you want if you have a really big screen. But in this case, everything is really, really small. So I'm actually going to go to a second setting here, and that is scale which is the ability to kind of leave this at this resolution, which you want for certain devices, but then everything is too small. So let's make everything a little bit bigger. So we're going to go to scale, which is a setting that's been in just about every version of Windows. And we're actually going to raise the scale. In this case, we've got, uh, oh, 100. So in this case, we want to make things bigger. So let's, let's see if we can reduce this to 50. And let's see if it'll let me do it. Okay, so at 100, it's at its smallest point. At 250, it's actually getting bigger. So let's blow this up to 500. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've raised it to the full fat 500. And note, we are still at the same resolution, but everything has gotten bigger within that resolution. So, for instance, I, and this is, this is a really, really good thing to be able to do because certain resolutions have a preference for certain or certain screens sorry have certain preferences for certain resolutions so this one's actually 1080p uh whoops uh, apparently that is too big and now i can't even get to the window but that's okay uh the beauty of doing this is if i wait five seconds it will actually revert back to the original settings so let's give it a second. Any, any of the settings you change here, if you just let it sit for 15 seconds, it'll totally go back and it'll totally undo it. So let's, let's go in here. Let's go ahead and make, these, uh, make everything smaller again. So we're going to bring that back to 100% scaling. Sign out now. I'm going to turn that all the way down so I can go back in and uh, reset the resolution to the one that's actually preferred. Now I should note that while that option is available, you don't generally want to do that. It's better to uh, change the resolution because even though I'm going in here and I'm resetting that scaling, certain apps are not prone to change along with it. So the look of windows and stuff like that, a lot of apps will change, but certain apps like say Google Chrome here, uh, have their own scaling process that they use. So resolution is prefer preferred because it changes everything. Scaling, you only use if you have to. And uh, if you do that, you run into programs like this and you'll have to use custom scaling inside of here too. So just a quick note on that. I think that will pretty much cover everything there. Uh, there's also some other really neat settings in here like brightness and this ability to change the screen to a color that's lighter on your eyes, um, HDR stuff. Uh, 
something something really good to look through if you have the time but i think that will just about do it um if you enjoyed this content or if this helped you at all, feel free to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. If you have any problems or any other comments or anything, uh, if you need any help, leave them in the comments section below. I try to get back to all of those. I also try to post uh, follow-up videos uh, if needed. That way kind of helps people along. Uh, otherwise, I bid you adieu and have a great rest of your day.